What happens when you encounter a wild Pokemon egg? Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and in the Pokemon universe, eggs are mysterious occurrences where a new Pokemon is born. Nobody has ever actually seen a Pokemon lay an egg, and nobody knows where they come from. All we know is that they usually come from the daycare center when you leave two compatible Pokemon together. But what if we hack the game and make it so we can encounter an egg in the wild? What if we catch it? What would it hatch into? Let's start off with Pokemon Gold and Silver. A few weeks ago, I was messing around trying to get Missing No to appear in Pokemon Gold and Silver, which was actually very interesting by the way, I'll link to it at the end of this video. And while I was doing that, I accidentally spawned in a wild Pokemon egg. Some weird stuff happened, so let's continue from there. Alright, here we go! There's that wild egg again, my whole party looks glitched as anything, and it's at level 255! I thought it would be fun to make it that ridiculously high level, because first off, you could never ever ever get a Pokémon past level 100, and second, you know, we're already messing with the game, so why not mess with things a little bit more? Anyway, let's see how much this egg can do to us at level 255. I'm gonna swap into my Crobat right here, and hopefully it doesn't kill me. All right, there it goes for the struggle, and wow, a level 255 Pokemon just did six damage to my level 72 Crobat. It actually looks like it did more damage to itself than it did to me. So that shows that levels aren't everything. But now, let's go in for the main event. Let's try catching this level 255 egg, and see all the craziness that ensues after it. Gotcha! Egg was caught! And now this is where the fun begins. Egg data was newly added to the Pokedex. But we're not gonna get a Pokedex entry out of this, instead this egg is gonna hatch us a whole new glitch called the Glitch Dimension. Now this is a really strange series of events that happens after the Game Boy Pokemon games run into something it just can't figure out, like catching a wild egg and trying to display some Pokedex data, so the game resets. However, when the game resets, it's not exactly sure what Game Boy it's playing on. Pokemon Gold and Silver were primarily supposed to be played on the Game Boy Color to, you know, show off the color. However, they could be played on the classic Game Boy in black and white. So when the game just suddenly resets like this, it thinks it's being played on a classic Game Boy and tries to reduce the colors to make it more compatible with it. However, since it's not being played on a classic Game Boy, we get all these weird colors and that weird looking Charizard shooting the white fireballs. And now we get to explore Pokemon Glitch Dimension Gold version. And remember, all this happened because I tried to catch a wild egg. Look at this Pokemon Center. The colors are crazy. Everybody in here is as white as a ghost. The ground is red and blue. And ugh, I don't want to see what happened to my Pokemon. Oh, poor Typhlosion. Why do you look like that? All red and white? Ooh, no, I don't like this one. Shiny Gyarados doesn't look too bad. It's still nice and red. And now, let's explore Kanto with these weird colors. Fuchsia City. Pallet Town. Saffron City. What in the world is going on in here in the Fighting Dojo? This place looks like a disaster! Cinnabar Island. Out of all the glitchy, messed up graphics, I actually think Cinnabar Island is kind of appropriate because in Gold and Silver, the volcano erupted, so you would think it would have like red lava-like water around it and the island would look destroyed. And if that's how weird the Kanto region looks, I'm kind of afraid to see what Johto looks like. Newbark Town. Hi mom, I see you did a little redecorating. And like always, the sink is spotless. Mom, you still got it. Azalea Town. Goldenrod City. And not even wild Pokemon battles or trainer battles like this battle with red are immune to the weird color glitches. Now the cool thing about entering the glitch dimension is you don't need to hack in a wild Pokemon egg to actually encounter it. 
You could do this glitch while you normally play Pokemon Gold and Silver by simply going to your Pokedex, selecting Machop's Pokedex entry, and then using the item Coin Case. When you do that, the game will restart and have weird colors. Well, that's enough of Generation 2. I want to see what happens if I try to hack in a wild egg into the Generation 3 games, so let's test it out in Pokemon Fire Red version. And there it is, our wild egg. I'm not sure what cry that Pokemon has, but let's go ahead and just try to catch it right away with the Master Ball. Alright, Poketip used the Master Ball. I don't think catching this thing is going to change all the colors like it did back in Generation 2. I think these games are a little bit better at handling weird stuff. So, gotcha. Dash was caught. Given nicknames to the captured Dash, no thank you. And let's check him out in the party. Ooh, he's there. What's it holding? Alright, let's take the item first. Receive the question mark from the Dash. And... yeah! That seems like a pretty good item. But now let's go check out our egg. It has a lot of HP. Summary and... ooh, that's a nice color. <laughs> I guess the weird colors are coming back after all. Alright, so I reset the game and caught another one of these things, so obviously I cannot look at it, otherwise the game's gonna crash. But there's two things I want to test. First off, can we hatch this egg? And second, can we sell that weird item that it has? Alright, we're in the Pokemart. Let's see if we can sell this thing. Ooh, he doesn't want that. <laughs> So that just leaves one thing. Can we hatch this egg? Let's go run around for a little bit. All right, update time. So I just ran about 15 minutes while the game was sped up trying to hatch this egg and nothing happened. I also have no way of checking if this egg is gonna hatch or not. So I don't know what's going on here. Also, after running around for 15 minutes, when I opened up my menu, the game crashed. So, I don't think this egg is gonna hatch anytime soon. I also noticed something kind of weird on my trainer card. For some reason, my body is missing. Before I ran around with this egg in my party, it was there. So, I don't know. I feel like the egg might be eating me. Well, that egg hatching didn't go exactly as I planned. However, I'm not done with Generation 3 just yet. A fan on Twitter told me something very interesting they did with an egg in Pokemon Emerald. They said they got an egg from the lady at the hot springs while they didn't have any Pokemon in their party, and it got a little weird. Let's try that out. Alright, so the egg is the only Pokemon in my party right now. It's kind of weird, so let's go into a battle and see what happens when we're forced to use this egg. Although Dylan wants to call me first. Get out of my video, Dylan! Okay, a wild new Mel, and we're gonna go ahead and send out our egg, and wow, that thing looked kind of freaky. So it is Why Not coming out of the egg, but it's not exactly hatched yet, so it still has the name Egg, and it looks like it's taking on the color palette from the egg, so it's an all-white Why Not. Now let's check it out in the summary, and in the summary it's still saying that it's an egg and it hasn't hatched yet, but in battle we can actually go ahead and use this Pokemon before it hatches. And unfortunately it doesn't really know any good moves, so we're not going to be able to knock out this Pokemon. But it's so weird actually using an egg in battle. But this is like breaking the laws of Pokemon reality. Using a Pokemon that hasn't even hatched yet in battle is something that should never happen. With that being said, let's try moving on to a Generation 4 game and seeing if we could catch an egg there. Pokemon Platinum version. Here we go. Alright, there it is, Wild Egg at level 49. I don't think I heard a cry and did the game just crash? Oh, where'd you go? That was a Shaman Skyform cry. But we're still not able to do anything. Come on. Come on, Egg. We could do it. Just get us to a screen where we can throw a ball at you. Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> it's shiny. It's shiny. A wild egg appeared. Go Charizard. There we go. So the game, it definitely seemed pretty confused right there, trying to figure out what in the world it was trying to do. But now we have the option to go ahead and fight and catch this thing. I'm pretty sure it's going to go ahead and use Struggle on us, so I'll just go ahead and use a Master Ball on it, and we're going to catch this thing right away. Now, I think since Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum are newer Pokemon games than Gold and Silver, we're not going to see any weird glitch dimension colors, but I'm very curious to see if I can run around enough in this game and actually hatch this egg. What would it have? into. Also, are we going to get a Pokedex entry? Egg's data was added to the Pokedex, and... No! No! Black screen! Oh, I wanted to see what this thing would hatch into! 
I'll give it some time. Maybe it'll go through. Oh, nope. That definitely sounds like a crash to me. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bad egg. All right, we don't want that one. So Pokemon Platinum was actually kind of disappointing. I was really hoping that I'd be able to catch an egg and hatch it in that game, but it wasn't happening. So now let's move on to the next generation, black and white, and let's run into the grass on the same route as the daycare. And it also made me think of something kind of funny. If we can catch one of these eggs, which once again has the cry of a shaman sky form, except this time we could get right into the battle and everything seems like it's going to work okay. But if I can catch this thing, would I be able to put it in the daycare and breed an egg with another egg? These are the types of intense questions that we ask on the Poketips channel. Gotcha! Egg was caught. Now, is this gonna work? Are we gonna be able to play with this thing? Data's added to the Pokedex. Nope, not working in black and white either. And last but not least, we have Generation 6, X and Y, and Generation 7, Sun and Moon. Now I'm going to be talking about these two together because basically the same thing happens in both generations. When I try to make an egg appear in the wild, it shows up as a Bulbasaur with the name Egg. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like the eggs that we all know and love. Now when I try to catch it, it actually works and I can catch it and use it just like a normal Pokemon, although it's super weak. And with that, you now know what happens when you encounter an egg in the wild in basically every Pokemon game. I'm kind of disappointed that we couldn't catch one of these things and hatch it, you know, because they're eggs they're supposed to hatch into something. If you enjoyed this video and you watched all the way to the end, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.